Hello friends, uh, welcome. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to do a really nice and quiet paint with me video. So here we are. Grab a cup of tea or your paintbrushes and paint along with me. Today I'm going to be working on two different uh, medieval inspired pieces. I painted these a while back on a really nice and cozy rainy day um, and I've just been keeping the footage for forever so I'm finally putting it into a video for you guys to see. If you are familiar with my work, you probably know that I absolutely love medieval manuscripts. I think they just have these beautiful illustrative qualities to them. I love the bold colors. They have incredible intricate patterns. And of course, the shimmery gold leaf uh, always catches my eye. But at the heart and center of almost every piece I do is endangered species. Uh, wildlife conservation is very near and dear to my heart and I try to raise awareness for these incredible species um, that rapidly get closer to extinction every single day. This is a tiger, of course, but more specifically it is a subspecies known as the South China Tiger which is considered critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. And unfortunately, there have not been any sightings since the 1990s, so it is possible that this beautiful tiger species is extinct in the wild already. My absolute favorite medium to use is watercolor, but I do like to experiment with other mediums as well. Uh, for instance, in some pieces I will do parts of the piece in watercolor, parts of it in gouache, uh, but for these two pieces I did all of the background in watercolor. And as you can see here, for some of the pattern work and extra details and outlining, I'm using my trusty Posca pins. for my favorite part which is the gold uh, in medieval times of course they would use gold leaf but I find gold leaf to be very frustrating and messy so I like to experiment with different gold watercolors gold gouache even gold colored pencils and today I am using dr. PH Martin's iridescent copper plate gold ink and this has become one of my go-to favorite golds scripts and bestiaries they use these really thick black outlines around their characters and animals and creatures and so that is why I implement this into my work as well I think it really helps the animals pop especially against those really bold backgrounds and uh, lots of times gold and just like that, this piece is finished. Yay, I hope you like it. I am so sorry I forgot to record myself drawing the background patterns in that pink and white color, so I apologize. And now it is time for the next one. I have always found cranes and herons so beautiful. There are lots of herons where I live, and so I looked up to see if there were any endangered cranes or herons and of course there are and I decided to paint this one called the Madagascar heron. There are estimated to be only 1,000 individuals left in the wild. Their population continues to decline due to the destruction of their habitat, particularly the wetlands in Madagascar. I 
don't often use purple and violets in my work. I'm not sure why, it's just a color I tend to always kind of stay away from, and so I've been trying to push it in my work more recently, and I am really happy with the color palette that I ended up with for this piece. It took a lot of swatches, but I finally ended up using this pale yellow, some red violets, and a very, very dark blue violet. Since completing this piece, I have done two more pieces that feature predominantly purple, so maybe purple will start slowly making its way into my color palette more. This one was made for a Drawing Redeem on Twitch, and this one was for a commission slash Inktober. Painting the animals is one of my favorite parts along with painting all of the patterns just because there's so many details that I just love to get lost in. Um, I especially love doing feathers, which it was something I didn't really enjoy doing at first, but the more I learned um, about feathers and how unique every single bird was, I find it absolutely fascinating and so satisfying to do now. My word for 2021 was play, and I think in some ways I've been successful with it, in some ways I have not. Um, I've really been wanting to get better at digital art, and so I've been playing around with that for sure, uh, but I wish this year I had played around more with my traditional art as well. I have so many different kinds of art supplies and I would love to take the time to really experiment with them and find ways that work with my style. For instance, I have tried doing colored pencil on top of gouache several times and have really enjoyed the result. So maybe next year I can push that more um, because I really enjoy it. I think the texture of the waxy colored pencils makes such a nice effect on top of the creamy gouache. So maybe next year I can kind of choose a couple of pieces, maybe even a series to focus on that. While I have really grown in my digital techniques, I have really missed uh, my traditional, so this cozy rainy day was so nice to get out my watercolors again and just play. Um, I really focused on color with these two pieces. Um, as I've talked about before, I wanted to try purple because it's something I don't really use very often, and then for the other piece, the tiger piece, I was just really careful in choosing those colors. I really wanted colors that would accent the tiger's uh, body and fur the best, and um, I think they were, I think they both came out really nicely. I think they were both successful. Honestly, can't believe we are halfway through November. In some ways, this year has completely flown by, and in other ways, it has felt so slow. Um, but I am so happy to have met more of the art community online, um, especially through Twitch. I have made some fantastic friends who really inspire me to keep going um, and are always encouraging to me when I need a helpful hand. Um, I love getting to share my art with all of you, um, and I'm just, I'm feeling really thankful during this time of year. I always start to reflect on all the different pieces I've done, and um, I think you can see some variance in style from last year, so that's kind of encouraging and exciting, but I can't wait to continue to grow and learn my craft and skill. I'll leave you with some satisfying finishing touches of gold. I always love watching this part. Um, but thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this was relaxing for you and gave you 
sort of a look into my process. I love talking about art and art history and endangered species, so never feel afraid to reach out. I'd love to answer any questions you may have. And hopefully I can get out another video sooner than the last time. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.